Hello YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans. I thought I'd do this as a separate video to the last video that went up because it's a little bit more fun and lighthearted. Uh, so we have a new sonic screwdriver. Yes, um, people have seen this because of the pictures from set that all you lovely spoilery people went down to Camden and uh, recorded some of the, the new Doctor Who being filmed. Uh, and during some of that filming, David Tennant was seen sporting a brand new Sonic Screwdriver. And naturally, because I'm known as Mr. Sonic Screwdriver Guy, uh, for some reason, oh, I know why, because I've reviewed a million of them, uh, decided to tag me in those pictures uh, on Twitter. So, let's take a look at the new Sonic. Alrighty, so this is from uh, Horny Dude 3D. Um, whatever you do in your personal life, that's up to you. I'm not judging you. So these are some of the pictures, and there you can see it. Um, yeah, okay. Like I, I know a lot of people are saying it kind of looks like Ten's original Sonic Nine and Ten's original Sonic, but with bits added, kind of like the uh, the Time Lord Victoria Sonic. But it's giving me sort of Dark Eyes vibes. You can see with those what look like twisted bits of copper wiring that are coming into this extended emitter at the top here. Let's see if I've got any more pictures of it. Like there's a picture of it there. I can't really zoom in on Twitter. That's the only real kind of downside to this. Let's see if anyone else have tweeted better images. There's there's James Perkins. He's a he's a channel regular. Yeah you can see it a little bit closer up there but it's very, very blurry at the moment. It looks quite thick and chunky too, doesn't it? Um, of course they went back to what seems to be blue. And this middle core section here seems to light up as well because blue is the colour that the Tenth Doctor was best known for. I think that's kind of it, it's just a lot of people have replied. And there's Horror Nation, he's a good lad. Give him a shout out. Um, yeah, but that's, that's kind of really all that we have to go on so far in terms of what this new Sonic looks like. Yeah, and, and that's kind of it so far. Um, truth be told, I, I don't really have many opinions on this so far. We've yet to get a good up and close look at it. Uh, as I said, it's given me very sort of Dark Eyes vibes, just with like those little copper wiring bits that are hanging out of it. Also quite Time Lord Victorious as well. I don't think it is the 10th Doctor Sonic. I think, looking at it, this to me screams something that is scratch built. Because we know what the, like if David Tennant is retaining the 10th Doctor's personality, we know that the 10th Doctor liked to build shit out of rubbish, you know, like the, the timey-wimey detector that goes ding whenever there's stuff and can cook an egg at 30 paces whether you want it to or not. Um, and the little thing that he used to track down the adipose in Partners in Crime. Um, so yeah, it, it looks like something that's very much scratch-built. It's something that he kind of threw together, perhaps out of Jody's old Sonic, like we don't know, perhaps to show what a, a, a doctor-built device would look like. Not a bunch of metal spoons that look like dog turds wrapped in tinfoil. Ugh. Um, I mean, I'm trying not to judge it so far because this, for example, is my all-time favorite Sonic screwdriver, the 11th Doctor Sonic. I know a lot of people are like, what? It's crap. But genuinely, that's my favorite. And this is my favorite ever proper replica I've ever owned. This is the Celestial Toy Store 11th Doctor Sonic. Oh, there's still battery life in it. Look at that. Just about. <laughs> I need to get a new battery for it. But yeah, um, I've always loved it. I, I love the flick. I think it's a very dynamic, very, very cool Sonic. Uh, and the thing is, first time I ever saw this, uh, I hated it. And the first time I ever saw it was on a leaked set photo from, you know, the, the Bad Wolf Beach in Cardiff, whenever they were filming the Angel Stew Parter. Um, there was like a very blurry, much like with the David Tennant pictures we're seeing now, it was very blurry, very far away, very pixelated, and Matt was throwing it in midair. So it was literally hanging in midair like that, and it was rotating as the photograph was being taken. So it made this top section look like a dome with a little tiny LED diode in it. And I was like, that looks crap, because I was, I was Mr. Doctor Who at that point. I was just obsessed with it. Uh, and I loved the ninth and 10th Doctor Sonic and I didn't want to see it go. And to see a picture of this looking so blurry uh, and from so far away, I was kind of going like, what the fuck have you done? You've ruined it, you've ruined the show. Uh, and then it turns out I see it in action, actually on screen in beautiful, high definition was it? Was it 2010? In better quality anyway than the, the late pictures had shown it. Um, and I loved it. I genuinely thought like it's it's genuinely my favorite Sonic screwdriver ever. 
I love the design of it. I think it just looks so badass. Uh, and it's the fact that the first time I saw it was in the leaked set fit, uh, picture and I thought it looked crap. So I'm trying not to have any real sort of judgments on Sonic thus far. Um, and again, I think it is a temporary thing. I think whenever Shooty Gatwa takes over, he will have his own Sonic. Hopefully something that is way more streamlined. Something in the vein of um, Miss Kuchansky. What, what the fuck? What was her name from the Adipose episode, the Sonic Pen? Uh, something akin to that. Something that's sleek, very sleek, uh, and simple. Uh, and maybe with like a little pop-up section in the middle because I like the Sonics to have some sort of action to them. Like this is the prime example. That is so cool. Just like how different it looks whenever it's extended. Like it looks like it's in action. It looks like it's open and it's ready, you know, for, for business. Almost like a proper medical tool whenever it's open and then when it's closed. It takes on this entirely different design. I think that just looks so badass. Whenever the battery works. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, I want something like that. Not, not Maybe not something as garish as this, but certainly something that's more akin to the, the ninth and 10th Doctor Sonics, but just more streamlined. Um, but for now, this one, this looks to be a sort of temporary scratch-built Sonic that the Doctor has just put together because um, he, he needs a screwdriver. And that's it. Someone should have told the 5th Doctor. And the 6th. Seventh, you get a pass. You used a Sonic screwdriver in the movie, so you're good. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, um, so that's literally... <laughs> I think this was kind of like a nothing of a video, but um, yeah, it looks all right. Um, I can't wait to see what it looks like in action. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, until next time, bye. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. Like, share, and subscribe. Whatever. Bye. Hope you enjoyed it.